Hey guys, in today's video, I want to show you how to use database functions in any database system that you are interested in while you're using Flash SQL Alchemy. So for any database system that you use, there are going to be some functions that that database system supports. And they support kind of the same for really basic operations, and then they deviate depending on things that are, you know, more specialized or more uh, narrow depending on what that database can actually do. So for example, a PostSQL database will be able to handle JSON, whereas a MySQL database won't be able to. So the Postgres database will have functions related to JSON. So in my examples in this video, I'm going to show you how to use some MySQL functions and some SQLite functions. And I have these two reference documents open that just show you the different functions that are available in each database system. So some are common between both like length here and then uh, for example, uh, length here, but some are different and I'll show you both. So to use the database functions, it's pretty easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a shell and I already have a model set up and I have some data in each one of my databases. So my SQLite database here and my MySQL database here. And I'll just start up a shell. And then I'll import the DB object and my user model from my file. So from app import uh, DB and user. So to use the really basic functions, it's really simple. So I'll perform a query, I'll say DB session query, and then I want to query for, let's say the average ID. It's not a very interesting query, but we'll see how the function works. So what I could say is db.func. So this is what you need to prepend all the functions with, uh, dot, and then the name of the function. So in this case, I want the, let's say the max function and I'll say user ID. So what I'm going to query for is I'm going to query for the maximum user ID. And since this is just one number, I can use scalar and it's going to give me the one number. And I see 1000. So I have 1000 rows in my database as we see here and the max is 1000. And if I do min, we see one. And I can also use another function like uh, average I don't know why you would do this on an ID, but if you want the average ID, it's 500.5. And if I want the sum of all IDs, then I have uh, 500,500. So these are pretty basic uh, functions that are gonna be in any database system you use, whether it's SQLite, MySQL, Postgres, uh, SQL Server, whatever you decide to use, these functions are gonna be there. But in the case of MySQL, there's a function called, uh, I believe is day name. So I'll go down to the uh, date functions and I want day name. So I wanna get the name of the day that uh, the user has joined. So if you look here in my table, I have actual dates. And if you look in my MySQL database, it's just the same data. I have dates that they joined, but I wanna know the actual date, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So what I can do is I can use the a day name. So db session query, db function, and I need to have the parenthesis. So db function and then a day name from MySQL. And then I want to do it on user date joined. And since this applies to all of the rows, I'm going to call dot all. So I'm gonna run that and we see that I get an error. So it's telling me there's no such function day name. So the problem with this is I'm using SQLite, I'm not using MySQL. So what I'll do is I'll close the shell and I will change the configuration to use my MySQL database instead of the SQLite database. And I'll start up the shell again. And then I'll do the imports again. So import db user and I'll try that query again. So db uh, session query, and then I'm going to say uh, db func and then day name. And then I can go ahead and put the date joined in there again, and I'll call dot all. And now it's taking a little longer, it has to do the calculations for every one of them. But now I get the actual day names. So I see Friday, Wednesday, Monday. I should have all the days that we covered because I just generated some random dates. And I don't have to just query for this in terms of the uh, information I want to return in the query. I can also use this in filters. So. I'll take the same query and I'll add a filter to it. So filter, and I'll say user date joined. 
and I'll add the DB Funked uh, day name around it. So date join, and I'll say I want all users who have joined on a Monday. And then I'll go to my query. And in addition to the day that they joined, I want to get the email. So user dot email and then a comma. So when I run this now, I'm going to get all the emails associated with all the users that I have in my database who joined on Monday. And of course I can change this to Friday and I'll get a different list. But the idea is I'm just using the function from my SQL to do this. So this is not native to SQL Alchemy. This is not some general thing for databases in SQL. This is specific only to uh, my SQL. Now other database systems may have something that is similar, but for this particular example, my SQL has day name while SQLite does not. So all the database functions that you see here uh, can be used in the exact same way. So any database system is gonna have a ton of them. I'll leave a link in the description below with the documentation for these. So this is my SQL. This is SQLite and there are actually more. There are the date and time functions, uh, aggregate functions, window functions, JSON functions. So whatever you're doing, if you need that extra functionality from your database system, you may need to use a function from that database and to do that in Flash SQL Alchemy, you just use the DB dot function. If you like this video, I do have a free course on my site where I talk about how to do various things in Flash SQL Alchemy. Uh, I start with the basics. So if you wanna learn how to do various things that you don't normally see in tutorials because they don't all apply to every situation. So things like um, limits and offsets and inequalities. If you wanna learn how to do those in Flash SQL Alchemy, just join my course, it's free. I'll put a link in the description below so you can uh, join the course. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.